I realize that this will not be a popular answer, but so S. Void is saying that he's got a B550 motherboard, yes. and he's got Rip Jaws 5, 64 gigs of RAM, yes. and it doesn't run at 3600, and he tried lower. So you turn on XMP, yep. and then you manually set the speed to 3200, and that didn't work. He says he's I'd replace the RAM. Yeah, he says his BIOS is updated. I would replace the RAM. Your RAM doesn't like your motherboard. I mean, I know, don't, don't yell at me. AMD is fussy in ways that Intel isn't. Somebody earlier did a super chat and said they bought an i9-10A50K. Should they return it and try to get one of the new Zen 3s? One of the benefits of this chip, I guarantee you that RAM works on this. I have DDR4 4000 CL19 on my test bench upstairs. You do. And somebody asked, how did I get 32 gigs of 4000 to run? Is it two sticks? Is it special? Did I tweak it? Actually, you know what's interesting about that? That is two, it's four sticks. It's two separate RAM kits. I have two separate RAM kits purchased at different times running at 4000. And it works. It's Intel. My professional workstation here in the office that has an i9 10850 10 an i9 1090XE, yes. the 18 core chip. Yes. It has 128 gigabytes. It does. Of, of 3600 CL18 and that is multiple kits. Works perfectly. Mm. I know, I know, you can all yell at me. You can tell me that your personal circumstances work great. You put in your RAM and it worked perfectly 100%. You never had any problem. I believe you. I believe you. But it works most of the time. And then when it doesn't, you have... But the problem is if it doesn't, then it doesn't work 100% of the time for that one person. So How many RAM kits do we have upstairs? A lot. If you had to guess. 30? Yeah, I was going to say 20. 20? Easy. 30, yeah. I've yet to fail to find one that doesn't work at full speed in this. Huh. All. We've had a lot of problems with RAM on AMD, so. I am not trying to say AMD is bad. I like Ryzen. It's just that circumstance that s ran into yep. is a pain in the cushionars. I run into that. I have multiple RAM kits that I maintain upstairs that I have to swap around because different Ryzen chips require different RAM kits. It's very frustrating. Uh, yeah, so there we go. What do you suggest you try then if the- Replace the RAM. If 32- group or I mean- It doesn't matter. And you know what? He could buy the same RAM kit that would, it might work. Because they're different ICs, they're made at different times. It could be that particular RAM kit is just off a bit. Just doesn't, yeah. Um, that being said, if you're putting 64 gigs of RAM into Ryzen, I would strongly encourage you to buy a single memory kit. Don't try to buy two 32s. Make sure it's a single kit that is sold and validated as a single unit. Mm -hmm. If he wants to be absolutely assured that it works, uh, that's why you would buy the uh, G-Skill Trident Z Neo because the Neo is AMD tested. Yeah. The non-Neo is Intel tested. And I have the Neo on my on my X570 test bench upstairs, and that's 32 gigs of 3600 in four sticks, CL16. And it? It's Neo. It works perfectly. There you go. But it's expensive. 32 gigs of Trident Z Neo, 3600 CL16 yeah. is like, you could buy 64 gigs of 3200 for the I same money. No, but it just works too. 